I've had a knife ever since I was a little kid, you know. My mom probably kill me if she heard this, but I remember my dad used to have these long skinny folding knives in, in, in box cutters. And I always used to sneak them and take them and I'd put them back so nobody ever knew I had them. <laughs> can always use a knife for something, you know. So I just love having knives. And then now that I'm making them, I can make any knife I want. You know, that's the coolest thing is when you have an idea and you can put it on paper and then you can make it, you know, and then potentially sell it, you know, even, you know, or, or have that your brand out there, you know, for other people to enjoy. It's, it's, to me, that's awesome. I mean, anything cooler than that. I got in a car accident back in uh, 2001 and it put me out of work for like two years. And uh, I ended up selling my whole collection and this and that. So I ended up wanting to buy knives, but I didn't have the money to buy them. So I wanted to, you know, I, I like all those shows, you know, how it's made and stuff like that. So I looked into it. I figured I can do that, you know. So I went ahead and started buying equipment. And next thing I know, I'm buying a CNC machine, you know, which I fell in love with just watching videos. And I thought it's so cool to be able to make something, you know, and put it in your hand, you know. So how do I like the PC and C440? I love it, man. It's perfect for what I do, you know. Um, if I want to mass produce, I'd have to get a bigger machine, obviously, but uh, two at a time. I mean, I usually make one at a time. I don't always do two at a time. See, what I've cut in there is um, Delrin plastic. I've cut uh, aluminum, cut um, titanium, and I've cut uh, high carbon steel, like 1095. Yeah, I don't know. It just does whatever I want it to do. <laughs> the way I come up with my designs are usually in my sleep. <laughs> Honest to God. I'll just have like a, a, a vision of something that I think would look cool. And uh, there's a lot of times, I mean, where I wake up and I would draw or sketch on a piece of paper and then go back to bed. The main thing I do, my main source of income is my full-time job. I'm an asphalt um, foreman for a paving company. I work uh, many hours in the summertime and I don't get much time to do anything. But I do sneak out and you know get some stuff done or if I have an idea I'll try to jot it down or, or put it in the computer or something. You know, These are the three folders I have that are far from being finished. Uh, this is a liner lock, but this is the same frame style as the one I showed you. Okay. Made out of titanium. Yeah. Okay. Then you got this one, which is the first time I did the inlays on this. It's some type of maple burl, and then it had a maroon uh, micarta. Mm -hmm. And then I, I did a collar. It's kind of hard to see mm -hmm. the collar there. And then here, and I still have to finish it and stuff and redo the screws, but it's, that was all machined on the 440. And then this one, this is titanium. So I did machine this one. I didn't do any pockets on the inside on this one. Um, but this one's far as from finish too, but I don't have a stop pin in on this yeah. one. But that'll be basically the profile. That's a beautiful line. And then the, oh, the 13 nice. is just my number. Yeah. I, I was born on the 13th on Mother's Day, you know, back in 73. So these are the first of five, these guys. And um, these are straight off the machine. All I did was acid wash them and then tumble them. Um, but you can see the little lines in there. But... It's pretty smooth, and it won't take much to sand that out. Yeah. Um, these are pocketed on the on the tang, which is this part of the knife, the center, mm -hmm. um, to keep it lighter. <clears throat> um, now, these here are stepped, so I machine steps into them. I just like the way they look, you know. I, actually, this one's my sister's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I call this the Tomcat. Tomcat, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because it, it looked like an F-14 Tomcat. Yeah, you know, it does. 
And um, I didn't want to put an F-14. I call it the F-14 because I have 13 all over it. <laughs> so I call it the Tom Kit. These guys here, and these are my Spartans. I call this one the Spartan II. Uh, but they'll fit almost all of my blades, except for these guys. In the tang of the knife, I have a 13 water jet through. My fuller here, the short little fuller, is on the same plane or the same angle as this part of the bevel so that it bleed it there's it's seamless when it comes out and there isn't a, a line cut through whereas most of the time if you laid it flat and you cut a fuller in there you're gonna have a line going all the way through so it's angled yep. so that there is no line there that's what you mean and that's unique to my designs you know that was so i like to think that that's just me you know i'm the only one doing it uh, a friend of mine messaged me and he said hey have you seen this after i posted that my knives were on your guys's website on yeah. tormox website that. i got in it right there i didn't even know it <laughs> so i mean that kind of makes me feel good you know it's the first time i'm actually gonna have this framed and everything nice. <laughs> you know yeah so i i buy these uh these forged billets from 5050 forge and i had a a low layer Damascus made, okay? And this is uh, 1084 high carbon and uh, 15 and 20. You know, so it's it cuts at, no problem. Stainless steel, I cut, uh, almost all my knives are stainless steel. It's uh, AABL stainless steel. And uh, I never have any problems. The only problems I have is when I screw up the speeds and feeds. <laughs> Other than that, I, I don't really see much of a difference in those these bottle openers that I make here like this so I was sleeping one day I dreamt of a bottle cap being in the center and then I dreamt the name and the name was the ale innator you know so it said a l e and then up the side of the e it said innator so it's like the terminator of beers <laughs> and then over the top it says to serve and then underneath it said and protect you know so I remember waking up and you know, jotting that down and like drawing a little sketch of it and everything, you know, so yeah. I do a lot of weird stuff like that. <laughs> I learned the machining through mostly YouTube. John Saunders played a real big role in learning the CAD and the machining. And I took his first three-day class, which he had the two of the Tormach PCNC 440s. I knew Tormach was coming out with it and I was like, I, I can afford it and I can fit it in my garage, you know, so it'd be perfect. So I took the class and it was it was awesome. It was three days of everything I needed from paper to a finished piece. But then I didn't buy my machine for like eight months later, you know, and then it was kind of start all over again, you know. And I actually was afraid to set it up because I didn't know what I was doing. So it sat for probably a good month or two before I actually put it up. Once I got it up and started cutting stuff, uh, it's exciting, you know, I mean, I hate crashing it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've learned quite a bit. I mean, I'm still no way a machinist, but I know enough to to make what I make, you know. And uh, well, the PCNC 440's got a, a smaller window. It's a four by ten, so at most I do two at a time. It's, just, it's helped me bring things, all my ideas, to life. You know, I mean that's because yeah, never do it by hand. You know, I mean probably could, but it'd take forever. And uh, I'm a little impatient, so <laughs> it's just helped me realize that I can do so much more, you know, and I can do more than knives if I want, you know, but that's where I'm at right now. When I first cut my first part, I was thrilled. It was, it was like, I don't know, it was just the coolest thing, you know, to, especially when I made my first knife, uh, that was cool. And that was really cool. And then I just get excited and then you want to do more and more. 